But how could it be, Eratosthenes asked, that at the same instant there was no shadow at Syene and a very substantial shadow at Alexandria? The only answer was that the surface of the Earth is curved. Okay, as we can see here, I've got a level surface. And we've got a light from my friendly cell phone here. <laughs> friendly. And we've got two objects that are exactly the same. So even just right now, looking at this, even when you're here, and it might look like the shadow over here is not as long as the shadow here you'll be able to see that it is okay so just by walking 800 miles <laughs> unfortunately because light is always constant <laughs> this will always act the same way this experiment so what we've got here, we've got a flat surface. You can see, it's a, actually using a bathroom vanity. And look, look at this, it's flat. It's flat, look at this, flat. Flat, flat, flat. And you, let's see if we can see here, even here. Sorry, the... The object on the right, which is further away from the light source, will cast a bigger shadow. And if you really want to see how this works, even more extreme than that, you can do this and get the light right up against it. And you can see how the shadows, look at that. So this is light source. Day comes up, oh, sun comes up, look at this. Whoa, sun comes up, and look at already, on a flat surface, the shadow on the right is longer than the shadow from the object on the left. Okay? And then, sun comes up, does its thing. Look at that. Sir, was that the surface of the Earth is curved, sir? The surface of the earth is curved, sir. Was that the surface of the earth is curved, sir? Was that the surface of the earth is curved, sir? Was that the surface of the earth is curved, 